allergies, I have heaps. Homework, ballet, doing the dishes. Telfast gives fast, long-lasting relief from year-round allergies so kids can do what they love. And the dishes. This weather report brought to you by Telfast. Don't delay. Keep sneezing at bay. Nothing beats Telfast. Now available at Chemist Warehouse. If the end of summer has you dreaming of your next getaway, this could be your incentive. Virgin Australia has launched sales this leap day with one-way fares from Brisbane to Sydney for $55 and to Uluru for $89. If you're wanting to jet off overseas, a flight to Fiji from Brisbane will cost less than $500, while jetting across the ditch to Queenstown will set you back $265. Not bad. Let's take a look at some of the stories coming up at 6. Exclusive video of a southeast ambulance being attacked by car thieves. Paramedics forced to abandon saving lives to seek police protection. Fire danger, common household power tool exploding without warning. Save hundreds on your power bill instantly. New 10 second check. Urgent recall, a potentially deadly Kmart product. Cost of living help, new local supermarkets with free groceries, no strings attached. Plus your exclusive tour of the most mind-blowing Queensland homes. All those stories and the rest of today's news coming up straight after Tipping Point. Gary Youngbury is back now with our full weather forecast. Gaz, there is still no relief from this heat in sight. Oh, no, Dom. In fact, things are going to get worse before we see any improvement. Temperatures are set to soar about 7 degrees up on average over the next couple of days uh, for March. There is a bit of a southerly coming early next week, and that should relax daytime temperatures back into the high 20s where they belong for this time of the year. A couple of showers and storms in the outlook as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. Let's check temperatures over southeast Queensland today, the last day of summer, and it was a hot one. Uh, 30 degrees plus across the suburbs, 35 was the maximum today. That was recorded in Oakey. 34 in Warwick, 33 Greenbank, 32 for Ipswich, Archerfield, Bow Desert and Gatton, 31 in Brisbane and 30 for Redcliffe and the Sunshine Coast. To the weather map, widespread showers and thunderstorms across northern Australia with some heavy falls likely. A few showers and storms over the southern latitudes with gusty winds for Tasmania's west coast. Interstate, the major centres, sunny and hot in Perth. Partly cloudy in mid-20s for Melbourne and Hobart. Canberra, 32 degrees tomorrow, showers and storms for Darwin and also in Alice Springs. Queensland looking at a few showers for Cairns, then mostly sunny. We're looking at low 30s around Townsville and Mackay. Mostly sunny and hot in the Capricorni White Bay and Burnett with low to even mid 30s. Inland mostly sunny and hot with high 30s. The chance of a shower around Mount Isa, but not for Longreach and Roma. Brisbane, mostly sunny day. Very warm with an afternoon northeast sea breeze. We'll be waiting on that northeaster. Before it kicks in, the temperature will hit 30. 32 degrees in the city. The overnight low 22. But your seven day outlook looks Saturday 33 degrees. Sunday still 31 with a late shower and storm possible. And then that suddenly starting to push in on Monday with a top of 30 and a shower or two. Tuesday back to 29 and just a possible shower. So still a few days of this heat and humidity, Dom. Oh, not good to hear. Thank you, Gaz. Well, that is our afternoon news for this Thursday. Thank you for your company. I'm Dominic Cloudin. I'll see you next time. Our players will need to outsmart each other and the machine to make those counters fall.